All right, so for this video, this is a simple trick how to organize your micro SD cards. Now, some cases have a little micro SD card holder on them. Others, if you put them in a little plastic bag. Um, but whatever you do, I mean, if they're all in the same, if they're all in the same container, they're going to get mixed up. If you're like me, you have lots of SD cards because, you know, there's lots of images out there. Some images are, you know, specific to what they do. You know, like a PlayStation only image or an Amiga only image. Uh, or maybe they're just small images and so you can't fit them all in a certain size, so you have to break them up. Or you're just some hardcore collector. And no matter who you are, one of the pains is when you have a bunch of these around, figuring out which one is which. So, the first thing I did, as you see I'm cutting these all up right now, is I printed out, um, this is a 12 font right here. Um, I think 12 is probably good. It's about a good size, and I'm just cutting these out. If you have a label machine, that could work too. Um, I kind of like the look of this though, and it actually helps remove the SD cards as well, you'll see in a second. Okay, so cut those all out. And uh, so what you need is a printer to print these out, some scissors, and then you have the actual SD cards. All you would do is get a piece of tape longer, double as double the length of your SD. And so, for example, the 64, just kind of smush it in there. and then put the 64 here and then wrap it back around. And there we go. So now I know it's my 64. This one's a little too long. <laughs> I guess we could just cut that one off. Okay. Okay, and now to see does it still fit in the micro SD slot. Put it in. Not an issue whatsoever. Kind of hangs out a little bit. But that's no problem. That's fine. And it actually makes it for easy pullout as well. It actually adds easy to pull it out um, on on like a on this one here even harder to put in and out trust me these go all the way in still fits in there and again easy pull out on those you're like oh where's where's my especially when you have like multiple 128s like oh well these are both 128 gigabyte which one okay this one's raised let's go ahead and put that in and then it's in there and you can go ahead now it's in there, you can pull it out. I guess it's something else. I guess I, you'd actually want to put them upside down if you wanted to uh, be able to read the label. So you'd actually probably want to put the, the font on the, on the side of the actual clips. So the opposite of what I did. But I like to be able to see the SD card and see the name. So it's up to you which, which route you want to go on that but it's that simple you don't want to go too far up on the SD card I wouldn't go past there's a little hook you probably want to go right before the little the after the first indentation you want to get on that back part of it um, but after that's all done I mean it's gonna look way better so there you have it marking your SD card so you know which ones which you won't ever lose track um, when you're talking lots and lots of SD cards, this is really going to help you out. If you want any advice like which SD cards do I recommend, as you can see I've tried many brands, many things, and I've made many videos about that. Um, there's links in the description if you're interested in those. Those are my Amazon affiliate links so it does help out this channel. So if you are looking for SD card, hook, get hooked up on those. Let me know if you guys have any questions, but this is a really cool, simple way to organize your images. Really easy to do. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.